Hi guys, Odyssey Gaming here, and today I am doing a squad builder, which is a three league squad builder, and yeah, let's just get into the team. So starting off in goal, and we do have Gillespie Buffon. And in this game, Buffon is definitely one of the better keepers. He's very consistent, he's very quick off his line, he's, his reactions are incredible. And yeah, he will get you out of quite a few sticky situations like this here. He just makes incredible saves here and there. He's not, you know, he's not going to be invincible, but no keeper is on this game. But it's definitely, you know, it, you just feel a lot safer with him in goal. I mean, that's a penalty, any keeper can save a penalty, but I just... I'd stick it in and yeah it's like he's saving legend shots and he's just really solid in goal I mean you could go with Perrin you could go with you know Handanovic you could go with anybody from the Serie A in goal but I would strongly recommend Buffon just because you know he just has that something his reactions are that good that I think he just distances himself from all other goalkeepers in the league so we'll move on to our next position so for the defense we do have the two fullbacks of Alaba and Aurora, and then the two centre backs of Chiellini and Barzagli. So I have decided to go with Inform Aurora over Normal Aurora just because I think he's a lot better and he's a lot more consistent than Normal Aurora. And yeah, both the full backs are very good in this team. Alaba's really quick, so is Aurora. And yeah, they just both really strong, very good on the ball with passing and you know, crossing. So it's really good to use these two in your team. Now, the two centre backs are absolutely solid. The Juventus. Italians in Barzagli and Chiellini. Now, you can use Bonucci if you would like, you know, if you can't afford Chiellini or if you don't like Barzagli, Bonucci is always there and he is extremely consistent. But this is the back line that I chose and I really enjoyed using it. They did score me a few goals from corners and they were just incredibly consistent as a back line. I mean, I let very little goals in and they were just, they always seem to be there. They're very strong and yeah, I mean, I can't really fault this back line. Onto the midfield, which I personally believe to be one of the best midfields on the game. I mean, you've got Pogba, Pastore and Vidal. They're probably the long shot kings. And it's no wonder. I mean, as you will see from the clip straight away, the long shots for these guys are... They're just insane. Their shooting in general is really good. Now, these three centre mids do get forward and attack quite a lot. I find that Vidal tended to stay back quite a bit and help out with the defence but he did still manage to bag a few goals and get a few assists but they were just really good to use because Vidal and uh, Vid, um, Pastore and Pogba even are really tall so they win everything in the air when your opponent kicks the ball upfield from a goal kick or just a clearance and the hold up play for all of them is brilliant I mean you'll see in this clip here Vidal just takes the ball off Higuain and he just puts it back into him and it's just an easy goal for Higuain to finish so it's just this midfield, I couldn't really fault it at all. I mean, the passing was good. The control was good. The dribbling was amazing. There you go. Look, a long shot from Pastore. It's just too good. I mean, Pastore and Pogba's long shots were just insane. Vidal's were good as well, but Vidal didn't tend to get forward that much. I mean, he's forward in this clip, but again, he gets an assist. Because Vidal was sort of like the assister in this team, and Pogba and Pastore were just the guys to just let fly as you will see in this last clip of the midfield and yeah now we will go on to the attack the strikers in this team do complete the team and just make it insane i mean the wingers are just so fun to use a turbe and i think it's a turbe or a turb i'm not too sure and obviously the new inform douglas costa and then the second inform higuain i think it's the second inform and yeah these guys are so clinical and they will just not let you down i mean here, Higuain, long shot. Long shots with Higuain were insane. Now, you could go ahead and get normal Higuain, but what's the fun in that? You you know, spend big, screw it. He's a very good player, and he's definitely a lot better than his first in form and his, well, normal card. And these wingers, Douglas Costa is so fun to use. He's a lot better than um, Ribery, in my opinion. I mean, you look at the skill there, and they just blasted into the back of the net from an impossible angle that's what i'm on about that's it's just so fun to just skill around and just create space with them and get some decent goals it turby feels like Messi. the way he runs the way he shoots the way he does everything it's it's just the really 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 cheap Messi, which is just so good to have because i mean look at this here he's just dodging in and out of players weaving and he does get his shot off and he does score the goal so, yeah, Higuain was probably the standout player in this team. I mean, his hold-up play was incredible. His control was brilliant. So strong. 
for a striker. And his finishing was just second to none. I mean, I've used, you know, Lewandowski. I've, I've had Hero Ibra. I've had Pauletta. I've had Kluivert. And no one seems to be able to come anywhere close to what Higuain was doing for me. I mean, I don't know why he was so good for me. I mean, here you'll see a volley. I mean, the goalkeeper went down far too easily, in my opinion. But it was just... He just added something so brilliant to this team that that you just can't get normal Higuain. I did try normal Higuain for a couple of games and really didn't get on with him. I mean, I used to like Higuain, like normal Higuain, but now that I've used this second in form Higuain, I am never going back. I mean, there's just no way. I mean, he's so much better. He's on a just a completely different level. So this team will set you back around 600k on the Xbox market and 700k on the PlayStation market. And obviously there's a few players that you could, you know, use to improve this side. Those being Inform Chiellini and Inform Giuseppe Buffon. Obviously, I can see the rest of the team getting better cards at some point. But yeah, that has been it from me. And if you did like this um, squad builder, make sure you hit the like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content. If you're new and you want to see more squad builders and other videos from us, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And... Yeah, if you've got any suggestions for, you know, squad builders that we could do, if you want two players in a team or whatever, just drop us a message in the comment below and uh, we'll try and sort that out for you. And yeah, we'll catch you in our next video.